We're here at Sun and Fun, again, looking at the Merlin airplanes. And we looked at the land airplane. That was very interesting. You'll see that. But also now we've got, well, I don't know what all this is, yeah. Chip. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Chip Irwin, who's going to educate me about this particular example sitting here. Well, as far as I know, this doesn't exist anywhere else. It's an ultralight motor glider float plane. Say that again? So it's an ultralight, part 103 ultralight. It's on floats, which is, isn't that uncommon. It's one of the best things you could do with an ultralight. And it qualifies as a motor glider because of its long, <laughs> high aspect ratio wing. As, so, yeah. a, as a motor glider, you can fly without an end number as an ultralight. You can put the floats on or off in two hours. Every Merlin Knight comes with float attach points. Do they? Okay, so and, you're ready on any of these airplanes. Right, then. and the, this is very sophisticated installation. I mean, we have 3D molded fairings. We have a, a very unique uh, water retract and teleflex for the water rudder. And the floats are nothing new. I've been making floats for several decades. And I just upgraded these into the Katia uh, Precision Mat Tool technology. That's a, that's a, uh, that's software, a software program it's a 3D that helps software. you do all kinds of marvelous stuff. So we can make these faster and even better quality than we have. So we made hundreds of floats, absolutely hundreds of them. Yeah, you got quite a float. In fact, I almost remember you yeah. as a float guy at one yeah. time. That was I've only been flying floats for 43 years. <laughs> and he's only 45 years old, so yeah. imagine that. Uh, so the floats are, and the Part 103 Ultralight rule allows 30 pounds per float. Okay, so 30, These weigh 60. thirty pounds each. Do they really? Yeah, people wow. don't understand that this is an ultralight and that this is a legal ultralight, and that the floats only weigh thirty pounds each, and the uh, gear we take off is replaced by the struts, which is kind of a wash. And float planes in general, ah, okay, okay. Um, actually, they, they, go, they look at this big airplane, big roomy airplane, all aluminum. So how much horsepower does it have? Well, Thirty-eight. <laughs> what? You can get off the water. Yeah. You can get a off the water really, really well. A seaplane that launches in 38 horsepower. That, that's fairly unusual. We're not talking a model yeah. airplane here. This is with you in it. No, it's, it has plenty of performance. You only lose about 20% when you put floats out on cruise. And because and we already have plenty of speed, so that's a non-factor. We have plenty of climb, so that's, a, that, that's not an issue. And we've got these big, beautiful flaps that we can land on the water very, very slow and get off the water very quick. Excellent. And you'll see some video of that as soon as, soon as I, I can make some. Okay, well, we'll be looking forward to that, but uh, this is a complete package from your company, right? You're not yes. like getting bits and pieces from other people. No, You're no, we, doing this, it all. Is all our, this is all us. We've been making most of this for decades. And uh, we also have floats available for other air ultralights or aircraft. Beautiful, so. beautiful. So. Let's, let's take all the airplane part away in your mind and just have floats down here. These could be available for somebody else's yeah. airplane. Oh, well, we right? have them in stock. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so this whole package here, have you have you floated it yet? No, I just fit it. We just I mean, got I these in last week. I know you'll succeed at that because you have a lot yeah. of history, but you haven't done it with this particular airplane no, yet. No, we, we did fly the, the other Merlin Light into the show. I flew, okay. I, I flew that airplane right. in Europe and I flew it here uh, at uh, South Lake and Airport and, and then I flew it into the show. And this airplane was just a, a few hours away from finishing. All right. Now, besides, we couldn't fly it in anyway. We could only make one landing. <laughs> well, there is that. So these are what are called straight floats. And you may never have seen any of these guys because almost everybody wants to use amphibious. I get why, yeah. but that makes a more complex, much heavier. Uh, do you really need that kind of thing? Well, the ultralight rule doesn't allow it, because, not because it's uh, not legal to have wheels, just because it just adds more than 30 pounds. It would be very you difficult just, you to do. You just can't fit in the weight well, category maybe. with all of that. I'm not going to say can't because... <laughs> never say I'm, never? When I'm napping on the couch, I'm thinking of these ideas. <laughs> it's pretty much incessant <laughs> that I can else you. I'm So I actually have a design in mind for a, uh, a <laughs> and to make these really light and fit. I might be able to do it. Is that right? But I'm not going to even think about that for next year. Yeah, what yeah, I'd yeah, like I would, to I would do, say, Concentrate I'll tell you on what, this though, now, but that's exciting what, to know. What's really interesting is the float plane that's electric powered. Because now you can fly 100 feet up, 50 feet up, take the evening cruise around the lake. You're not making hardly any noise. Nobody really cares. You're flying at 35, 40 miles an hour, uh, enjoying the, the weather and the scenery, uh, waving at your friends at, at the sandbar. Um, and that, that with this airplane with electric power, 
which you can fly even with floats as a sailplane and turn off the electric and know that it'll start right up instantly. Yeah. And ride around. Know your sink bait's going to be bigger, but just climb higher. Uh, and so this yeah, is extremely so a, personal. This is really so interesting self-launching motor glider on floats. Electric power. That you can fly without a pilot's license. That's a pretty special combination. In fact, I don't yeah. know that I've ever said that combination of words before together because exactly. it wasn't true. Well, you forgot the electric power because and that's the really key. <laughs> that makes it a really good motor glider and a I'll really bet. good float plane. You have I'll super bet. power to take off there it is. and you're not bo uh, bothering anybody on the lake. So I'll say that some people would go, well, but wait a minute, electric power, we hear all about it, you just got no range. Well, yeah, but this is to go up and to soar. So you only need yeah. good juice and electric motors right. are great at torque. So that'll get you up quick. Then you right. turn the thing off. Right, exactly. Or you fly just your 35 you know, to you know, half hour to one hour sortie, which is right. which With a power typical, going, mission, yeah. typical mission for an ultralight is 45 minutes. And you still have 15 minute reserve power. Exactly. And you know, for me, I'll, I'll be my own experience, 45 minutes of flying, I had my fun. Let's go down right. land, let's have a cocktail or something exactly. and uh, go from there. And the batteries will swap out so you can have a partner and they can go fly for they 45 fly. minutes. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, sort of, and, and you told me a phrase here that I just have to repeat because it was fun. It's a self-washing airplane. Okay, that's a bit of humor there, but you're in the water, it'll clean your airplane off. And out here yeah. in dusty sun and yeah. fun, that might sound pretty good. All right, Chip, how do we find out more about this amazing little airplane here? Where do we go? lsacom Excellent. So you can find lots more about this, not about this particular one, but about the Merlins. And I'll be looking at this when it's in the air on bydanjohnson.com, where you can find all kinds of light sport, sport pilot kit, and ultralight information. Thanks for joining Chip Irwin and myself here at Sun and Fun 2023.